Today on The Source, COVID-19 Niagara Update, we're looking at a lot of positive angles during this coronavirus crisis. And our next guest will talk a little bit about a diversion that might interest you to keep yourself entertained, keep yourself busy while you are shut in at home. I'd like to welcome Niagara College, do I call you a graduate now? Andres yes. Coimbra Castedo. Hey, nice to meet you all. I'm a recent graduate from Niagara College and, and we got a game out and I'm excited to be here. Yeah. Young, dishonorable knight. Let's talk about this game. It's called The Fallen. And you yes. and a group of other third year students last year spent a lot of your time working on this game. It's out, it's available, and it's available worldwide, which is quite quite an accomplishment for a group of graduating Niagara College students. Yeah, I mean, uh, that was the reasons why I wanted to get it on, on the store Steam, because you know that once you put it out there, it's really easy for anybody in the world to act compared to uh, uh, like try to do it ourselves or distribute it ourselves. Can you take us through this game? What is it all about? Uh, what kind of focus is it? And what does the player do while he's playing the Fallen? You start out as a knight uh, who, who it's in the afterlife and he, and he seeks redemption because he suffered a dishonorable death. And so he seeks uh, to, to accomplish, um, go through the, the land of the Fallen and seek out the, the guardians and defeat them in order for him to seek redemption. We want to make a game that we enjoy playing. That's a thing that we usually play. So everybody starts saying like, okay, what do you play? What do you play? And then we eventually came down to this idea. Everybody's role can be divided into two, either a programmer or an artist. I'm personally an artist. What language were they using to program this game? I always C sharp because we developed the game inside of the Unity engine, a uh, very, very powerful engine, and it just works. It just works basically only on C sharp right now. Andres, uh, do you have an estimate as to how many total hours went into getting this game ready to launch it on Steam? We were working sometimes 12, 16 hour. No, 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 not 16 hours, but more than 12 hour a day sometimes because. You have a deadline. You have to finish the game by that deadline. You mentioned that the game is available on Steam and that's a worldwide platform. Why is it important that this game is now available on something like Steam? What is the process to getting this game noticed, recognized and have the word spread? It took like the process of incorporating ourselves, like making ourselves a, a legal entity and everything. Uh, and it makes it more uh, stable that way. Um, and then after that, of course, we need to go into our own social medias and then spread the word out ourselves, go on Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. And we actually had a few streamers and YouTubers make videos that they found the game on their own. And that was kind of crazy seeing like somebody play the game that we've never talked to, we've never seen. They just discovered the game, played the game and, and marketed the game on our behalf. What's next for Andres? For me personally, I am working on my portfolio and you know pursuing what kind of uh, job opportunities I can I can seek. Uh, as a team, we're still trying to uh, brainstorm new ideas to maybe something coming coming up in the future. Uh, taking advantage of this uh, quarantine time, especially that we have a lot of time available to us. Congratulations on the success of launching this game, and good luck. We hope to see it catch on on a huge worldwide scale.